A parent function refers to the simplest form of a family of functions. A family of functions share some common characteristics, and the parent function is the simplest one that still preserves the basic characteristics of this family. For example, for the quadratic function family, the general form is f x equals to a x squared plus b x plus c. A b c are coefficients. B and c can be all real numbers. A can be any non-zero real number. And the parent function for the quadratic function family is simply f x equals to x squared, the simplest one. This is an example of a quadratic function written in its general form, and here is its graph. Here is the graph for the parent function f x equals to x squared, also known as the squaring function. As you can see, these two graphs have many similarities. They both have a U shape, and they are both symmetric about a vertical line. In fact, one of the reasons why we are studying parent function now is so that in the future we can use the knowledge of a parent function to help us sketch the graphs for other functions. When we talk about the characteristics of the graphs for the functions, we normally include the domain, range, if the function is even or odd. And that is also related to the symmetry of the function, the x or y intercepts of the function, and also if the function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. We have discussed the first five. Now let's spend some time to discuss the last one. For a function to be increasing visually from left to right, the function value increases. Algebraically. For any two points on this function with coordinates x1 f x1 and x2 f x2, as long as x1 is smaller than x2, then f x1 must be also smaller than f x2. For a function to be decreasing visually from left to right, the function values decreases. Algebraically, again, for any two points on this graph. If x1 is smaller than x2, then f x1 must be bigger than f x2. Lastly, for the function to be constant visually from left to right, the function value stays the same. Algebraically, for any two points on this graph, if x1 is smaller than x2, f x1 must always equals to f x2. Sometimes a function is increasing or decreasing or constant on different intervals. For example, for this function, for the interval from negative infinity to three, the function is increasing. For the interval from three to six, the function is constant. For the interval from seven to positive infinity, the function is decreasing. When we describe those trends, we only use round brackets indicating. Open intervals. Now we are ready to discuss the characteristics of some common parent functions. The simplest function family is the linear function. We know that the graph of a linear function is a straight line. The general form is f x equals to m x plus b. M is the slope, and b corresponds to the y intercept. There are two special functions in the linear function family. The first special linear function is the constant function f x equals to a constant real number c. For this function, the independent variable can be any real number. Therefore, the domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity, or all real number. The range, however, only includes one number, the real number c. It is an even function, and it is also symmetric about the y-axis. This function, in general, only have one y-intercept zero c. Unless this is the function f x equals to zero, then it will have the same x and y-intercept, the origin. And also, as you can see, this function is always constant. The other special linear function is the identity function f x equals to x. Its graph is a straight line at a forty-five degree angle with each axis. For the identity function, its domain includes all real number, its range also includes all real number. 
It is an odd function, which means that it is symmetric about the origin. It has the same x and y intercept, which is 0, 0, the origin. And also, it is always increasing. Next, we have the squaring function, fx equals to x squared. And we already talked about it. This is the parent function for the quadratic function family. For this function, the domain, again, includes all real number. But because x squared cannot be negative, therefore, the range only starts from 0 to positive infinity. It is an even function because it is symmetric about the y-axis. Also, it has the same x and y intercept 0, 0, the origin. And as you can see from the graph, this function decreases on the interval from negative infinity to 0 and increases on the interval from 0 to positive infinity. And then we have the cubic function, fx equals to x to the third power. This function, again, has the domain that includes all real number, and its range also includes all real number. It is an odd function because it is symmetric about the origin. Again, it has the same x and y intercept, which is 0, 0, the origin. And this function is always increasing. Here is the square root function, fx equals to the square root of x. We all know that the function is undefined if x is negative. Therefore, the domain of this function is from 0 to positive infinity, or for any real number that is bigger or equals to 0. The range is the same, from 0 to positive infinity. The function has no symmetry. Therefore, it is neither even or odd. It has the same x and y intercept 0, 0, the origin again. And lastly, the function is always increasing. Lastly, we have the reciprocal function, fx equals to 1 over x. Because x is on the denominator, we know that the function will be undefined if x equals to 0. Therefore, the domain for this function is x can be any real number except 0. Or it could be written as the union of two sets from negative infinity to 0, and then from 0 to positive infinity. Same thing for the range. The function value can never be 0. This function is an odd function. It is symmetric about the origin, but you can also use the algebraic method to determine that this function is an odd function. As you can see from the graph, this function has no intercept. This function is always decreasing. But again, as you can tell from this graph, the function is not continuous. It is actually decreasing on two different intervals.